Hey everybody, welcome back to the XFA Fitness Channel. I'm Jeff Hirsch on behalf of my partner Stula Poten and myself. Welcome back to another full body hit workout that I'm going to give you today. I don't really know how long this is going to take me. I've constructed uh, five rounds of five different moves and they're all drop set moves. So we're going to do a heavy weighted move. So grab your heavy weights or kettlebells. I'll show you the equipment that we're going to need in a few minutes here. And then we're going to do sort of like a body weight version or a lighter weight version of that to drop it. Each Drop set's gonna consist of 10 reps, and then another 10 reps, that's gonna be one set. So we'll do five of those five times. You do the math on that one, all right? Uh, let me show you what we got today, equipment-wise. Uh, I'm gonna be using some kettlebells. I've got, these are 44 pounders, okay? So I got two of those. For some exercises, I'll be using one. For some exercises, I'll be using two. If you don't have kettlebells, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. I've got an adjustable set of, of uh, dumbbells here. You really just need maybe a heavy set and a light set today, just two different uh, sets of dumbbells. If you have an adjustable set at home, great, use that. If not, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out with what you need. Um, I'll tell you the weights that I'm using as we go along the way here. I've got water, I forgot my towel, but uh, hopefully I don't slip on all the sweat that's about to happen here today. I've got a little timer just to see how long it's gonna take me to do this. And uh, before we get going though, let me demonstrate the moves to you, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is a front rack walking lunge. So I've got my kettlebells here, okay? So I'm gonna rack these, and when I mean front rack, I mean you wanna hold them up in front of you like this, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk and touch your knee to the ground each time, okay? Walk, knee to the ground each time. So I've got 88 pounds in my hand, right? That's pretty heavy. So make sure you're going heavy. If you don't have kettlebells like me, and you only have dumbbells, I want you to pick those guys up, and when you front rack them, whatever's more comfortable. You can hold them here if you want, or sometimes it's easier, you just turn them, put them on your shoulders, like this, okay? That way you're resting them there, kind of like when you're hinging kettlebell, and you'll do the same thing. You'll walk like this, okay? Just like that. And again, you want to use heavier weight, because we only have 10 reps, then, after that move, put those back. We're gonna go right into a Bulgarian squat, split squat jump. So you're gonna need a chair, or I have a bench here, you could use a couch, you could use a table, whatever. Something that's, you know, low down enough that you can sit on. Put your leg up on it. We're gonna do five on each side. The idea is you wanna bend down, chest to the knee, jump up, you can clap underneath. We'll do five on each leg. So five on the right like that. Then you're gonna switch over to the left side, go down, touch. Jump, clap underneath, just like that, all right? If you can't do that, you don't want to put your foot up on a bench, just go down to the floor, touch, come up, and jump off the floor like that, okay? Just like that. You can do that too. Same thing other side, just up like that. It's a little bit harder on the bench, you'll see, but if you're not up to that level, it's perfectly fine to stick to the floor, all right? That's our first set. Second set, squat, Arnold press. So we're going to be doing a squat with a shoulder press, I'll demonstrate here. I'm going to put about uh, maybe 30 pounds on the weights here. For me, that should be good. I think on this one, maybe 35s. We'll see how it goes. So the idea is start like this with your palms facing you. You're going to squat down. And as you come up, rotate and press. Come back in, squat down, rotate and press. That's going to be our weighted move for that. Second round. And then we're going to go into a in and out, pike press. So you're gonna be down in plank. What I want you to do is, I want you to go pike press, out, in, pike press, out, in, just like that. 10 reps again of that. Next thing, 10 reps of weighted sumo squat jump. I'm gonna grab one 44 pounder here, and toes pointed out, you're gonna sumo squat down, and then you're gonna jump up like that, as high as you can. All the way up, get down as low as you can until that weight hits the ground or until your flexibility gives out. Then I want you to jump up. After that, grab a light set of weights. Uh, I'm gonna get some maybe 20s here. We'll try that, 15, 20s just for demonstration. This will change as the workout goes on. The idea behind this is you wanna stay low in split squat and go one, two, three. Notice I'm not coming up, I'm trying to stay down like that the whole time. So 10 like that. That'll be our third set. Fourth set. Things are starting to heat up now. We're gonna do a slow 
push up, okay? And then I'm gonna grab a heavier weight for the next move. So we're gonna do a slow push up first. Down, standard push up position. Slow push up. You're gonna want you to twist 180 degrees over and do a renegade row, okay? So you're gonna renegade row, then you're gonna flip around, and then renegade row like this. So the first move, again, is the slow motion push up. The second move of the round will be the spin around 180 renegade row, all right? Now, fifth move, or should say fifth set, final two moves, we're going to be doing the American kettle swing. So here's your kettlebell. American means you're just going all the way up over your head, okay? So you're gonna be starting out, coming back, going all the way up over your head, okay? 10 reps like this. I want you to use a heavy weight. If you don't have a kettlebell, I want you to use a dumbbell. What you can do like this, just put both hands inside the dumbbell. With the kettlebell, your hands are gonna be facing this way, right? With the dumbbell, hands stacked on top of each other. Same idea, shoot it up just like that. It's the same motion. You're still using your hips and your core to get that weight above your head. So if you don't have the kettlebell, just substitute with the dumbbell here, right? I'll be using the kettle just because I have them and I love them. And the last move is gonna be a weighted long jump. I wouldn't recommend too heavy a weight on this. Let's go with 15s for me because I'm already here. The idea behind this is, um, make this even so I don't topple over. The idea behind this is squat down, jump forward with the weight, come back, squat down, jump forward with the weight, 10 times like that. All right, so after we do that, one time, we'll do it four more times, and we'll have ourselves a wonderful workout. I grab some water to get started, because I'm already thirsty, just from demonstration. This is gonna be a hard workout. And uh, everybody on the comments section has been talking about how much they love these hard workouts, these longer workouts, so that's what we're gonna keep bringing to you for now, as much as we can. If you like what you see here, and you probably do because you're back to watch this one, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new workout that comes out, or if we have a story, or if we have a post or something that comes up on YouTube, you'll see it first. And like we always say, if you wanna support us, and you really like us, and you wanna get some amazing workout programs, not just a one day workout here, and one day workout there, go to ripdism.com. You'll see ripdism one, ripdism two, ripdism raw, a lot of bonus workouts that you see on there as well. And it's gonna get you in amazing shape with a fully structured, organized program with very specific portions designed to get your body in amazing physical shape and put you in peak physical, physical performance no matter where you are in your life, okay? I'm 46 years old. I'm still cranking out doing this every single day, trying to increase my athletic ability and make myself better. So join, subscribe there, and uh, sign up on ripdism.com, and we'll love you even that much more, okay? So let's do a quick warm-up here. I know I've been talking for a while. You guys are anxious to work out, so let's get going here. We're going to warm up the core with everything, some side-to-side -side punches. Here we go. Let's warm it up. You know what I forgot to do? Hold on. Start my timer. Boom. Okay, ready? Now I'm going to start. Here we go. I just want to make sure I know how long I'm working out. I'm going to set my heart rate monitor up here so I can monitor how long I'm going. And we're good. All right? Flip side to side punch. I really don't know how long it's going to take us. I'm guessing it's around 30 to 40 minutes. It's a journey for me. It'll be a journey for you. We'll see what happens along the way. All right, up, straight up, then those knees come down, touching the side. Up, then those knees come down on the side. All right, just wanna get you used to going up and going down, because we're gonna be doing that a lot today. We're stretching out the core and the lower back on these moves, all right? So this is gonna be what I like to call a conditioning workout, which means you're lifting weights in an athletic way, and you're applying them to your body to get it in amazing physical shape without really standing around and doing a bunch of curls and stuff like that, all right? Which isn't necessarily bad, it's just different. Let's do some uppercuts, all right? Uppercuts, like that, side to side, step out, uppercut. We're just getting the heart moving here. Nice. With focus, with purpose, every single time, all right? 
good. Let's shake that out. Bounce it out a little bit. Neck. Let's circle the arms. Circle them forward. All right. Circle them back. Nice. So you're not going to really see too many timers today because it's just a matter of what's happening on the screen. So you try to keep up with me. If for some reason you're better than me, you're faster than me, that's fine. I'll pray for you just to wait for me and I'll catch up to you, okay? So let's go down, lunge to the side, lunge to the other side. Dynamic warm up here. We're not really sticking in any kind of static stretch. We're just getting our body loose through movement by its own body weight, okay? All right, a couple more like this. And next one for those kettle swings. Let's go up and down, up, down, up, down. We've got wide feet here for stability. Okay, nice. All right, let's do a couple of uh, knee drops. Of course, we're gonna be doing that with those walking lunges. Those walking lunges, I don't know, I might have picked a little bit too heavy kettle weight on that. If I, if I have to change midway through, I'll do that, but I'm gonna try to stick with that the whole entire time. All right, nice. Drop the other side now. We're about ready. I got the sweat rolling off my head already here. Nice. All right. Let's just get it ready mentally in our mind. We're about to do this, right? I'm going to grab a little bit more water. That was about a three minute warm up. That's all we're going to need here. So, round one. Sorry, yeah, round one, complex one or set one. I'm going to grab those big weights. And go for a walk. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn around because I don't have enough room here to complete all 10 in one stride, one length. But we'll just get as many as we can if we get 10. And if you have a longer space than me, go longer. If you have a shorter space than me, you need to turn around after every step. That's fine too. Just turn around and keep going. So I'm gonna grab my weights. Let's get started here. I wish you all luck. Wish me luck. I'm gonna rack up here. Here we go. Up and 10 reps, here we go. That's it, knee all the way to the ground, come back up. Good stability, strong core. Tighten the core every time you go down. It's gonna keep you stable. Nice. I'm turning around after three. That's about how much room I have. Okay. There's six. Good. So this should be a heavy weight. By the time you get to 10, you should feel like maybe, you know, that's it. Maybe you shouldn't have any more left. That was about to fail on that rep right there, okay? And then from there, we're gonna quickly move left foot up on the bench, right foot far out, touch the ground, jump up, boom. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, okay? Next move, right foot on the bench, left foot in front, or the other way, if you started left first, that's okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one down, here we go. Squat, Arnold press. I'm gonna go with 30s. That's kind of what I tested this workout with. That felt good at the time. A little bit of a bum right shoulder now, so if that starts to flare up, I might drop the weights a little bit, but we'll see. Start them up here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Down, corkscrew them up, sit, corkscrew them up. Full extension on the press. That's it. Halfway through. That's it. Uh. Starting to feel it now. By round five, that's gonna be brutal. All right, I'm feeling decent now, but by round five, we'll see, I might have to drop that weight. Dropping that into the in and out pike press. So, we'll start up in pike first. Okay, put your hands over the comfortable pike press, in and out. Two, in out, three, in out, got it? Let's keep going. Ah. 
<sighs> this is hard. I know that. It's not supposed to be easy. <sighs> 10 reps right there, already dripping sweat. Three sets in, okay? Now we're going to that slow motion push up. So we can get the weight after this. First thing we're gonna do, 10 reps. Follow my speed, here we go. If you have to do the push ups on your knees, fine, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, full push up here with me. Standard width is fine. Here we go. There's one. Back nice and flat. Two. Keep that core tight. Push the hips in. Squeeze the buttocks. Okay, keep a nice flat back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Try to keep the neck straight as well. I have a tendency to bow out sometimes. Try to keep mindful of that, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, grab your heavier weight. I'm gonna try 45s, okay? Start at 40s to start. That is. And you need a little bit of room to get around. So keep your weight on one side. Ready? 10 reps like this. So start out, renegade row, 180, circle around. Left arm for opposite side, row. Just like that. Okay? Now, keep that core tight again. There's four. Okay, almost halfway through now. Starting to feel that in the lats. There's eight. Really squeeze it up on the top. There's nine. One more. 10. We'll do the run. Let's finish it out. Okay? All right. Four to five done. Next thing we got is that kettle swing. American style. So that's up over the head. I'm going to drop that. That weighted long jump. So I got my 44 here. Or if you're watching from Europe, 20 kilos. All right. Here we go. Let's fire it up. Three, two, up. Really push with the hips, okay? It's not lifting with the arms. The force to come from down below. The arms are just a guide. And you have to tighten your core up top, keep that weight stable. I think that's 10. I'll do one more just in case. And this counted. All right. And then last thing we're doing, 10 weighted long jumps. I'm going to start out with 10 pounds, keep it safe. If you're new to this move, you may not even want to use a weight. Maybe grab three pounds or so. Here we go. One. Two. So notice I'm swinging the weights in front of me. That's generating momentum. And then I'm following it with my body. Okay. All right. Don't be afraid to make some noise in your house. It's okay. That's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And we're done with round one. Ten. Just like that. That took about seven and a half minutes, roughly. Taking a knee or two, getting some water. We'll take a little break. Start that up all over again. So you know me, I like to do multiple rounds of stuff because it really helps you work on figuring out the move. You know, sometimes the first time you do a move, it's a little foreign to your body and you're not, you didn't really get it in the first round. You know, you're sort of like, okay, maybe by that seventh or eighth rep out of 10, you got the motion and you feel comfortable with it. So now in round two, if these moves are new to you, now you're ready to go and you can get the most out of it, all right? So, break's just about up here. 
if you want a longer one. Hit pause, I'm racking up here with my kettlebells. Okay, 10 more reps like this. Let's go. Front rack or front shoulder rack on the dumbbells if you got those. Here we go. Drop that knee. Come on. That's three. Four. Five, with purpose. We're not just going through the motions here. Huh. I wish I had a couple more feet. I can make that last one without having to turn around. Okay, that's it. All right. Now, dropping to that Bulgarian jump squat. I'm gonna go to the right side first. Right leg out, left leg on the bench. Balance, three, two, one, touch the floor, clap under. Two, three, or you're on the modification. Four, five, okay? Or if you wanna use the bench and you don't wanna clap, I'll show you that too. Let's do the jump, ready? Right? One, two, three. Otherwise you're here. Four, five. Okay, really killing that glute and hamstring in that move, all right? Before we work the whole leg on that walking, drop one. Back to the squat, Arnold press. Gonna take my 30s. Shoulders feeling pretty good today. So I'm gonna stick with those. Had to get my adjustable dumbbell set here. Uh, Look, like I re racked them the wrong way. So just a quick adjustment. We're back in business. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Adjustable dumbbells are great. You have to remember to rack them the right way. Okay. So we got our 30s. Here we go. Reverse grip on facing you. 10 reps, let's go. Squat, press up. Okay, and you can go a little heavier on this because you can use the momentum coming up to force that up, okay? You're not really doing a stack, like a standard shoulder press in this. You're using momentum to drive that weight up. Three more to go. Huh. Come on. So you notice it's not super fast again. Every move counts. All right. From there, we've got our pike press in out, okay? Sit down on the ground. We want to move from one exercise to the next pretty quickly. Not a lot of breaks in between. So we're up and pike, press, back, forward, press. Sit, two, three, four. Come on, drop that head. There's nine, one more. Okay, sweating through this shirt pretty quickly. This might become a burden at some point if it starts sticking to my body, see? Uh, weighted sumo front jump, okay? Just jump, weighted sumo jump squat, that is, okay? So we're here with the jump squat. We're gonna drop into those switch jumps. I got my kettlebell. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold it down here like this. You go to hold it here like this, or you can hold it up high here, okay? Whatever's more comfortable for you. Here we go. There's eight. Really getting low. Okay. That's that. Get as low as you can. As soon as the weight hits the floor, you run out of flexibility. Or you're all the way down. Go into those. Switch jumps, I'm going to go to 25s on those. Quick switch up here. And again, you want to stay low. Try to keep those legs in that 90 degree bend position. Of course, 
it's gonna have to come up a little bit when you jump. But try to stay as low as you can. Ready? 10 reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. That's that. Move four. Full motion push up to that renegade row with the 180 plank walk. Back to the 40s for me. That felt pretty good last time. I'll stick with that here. Pick what you need at home. All right. Here we go. So, first to 10 push ups. Standard width. Here we go. Nice and slow. Keep the back flat. Or engaged, right? Squeeze the quads, push the heels towards the back of the room. Okay, nice. Now, renegade row, 180 circle run. Here we go. Start out with that renegade row, ready? Up, circle run it out, plank. Here we go. Two, circle right now. Three, get that weight set in the right position for that renegade row before you start it. You don't want to be out of place on that. Okay, you can topple over. Get your arms steady, feet wide, pull it up. That's five. Ugh. Hurting now, as you can hear, not my grunting. That's 10 reps. I'll finish out the run. Okay? Wow. Okay. American kettle swing and weighted long jump. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back, set up my 10 pounds for the jump in a moment, and grab on my kettlebell. The swing, palms are sweaty. Make sure you dry them off. Before you do any swings, you don't want things flying around in the air. If you have any chalk at home, that'd be a good time to chalk up too, okay? All right, here we go. 10 reps. One, two, not bending the knees, really. A little bit, just hinging in the back and the hips. There's eight, nine, ten. So for that one, I feel like I could go a little bit heavier, but that's the heaviest dumbbell, sorry, kettlebell I have. And uh, that's what we're gonna use today. Gonna stick with the 10 pounds on the jump. Here we go, 10 reps. Three, throw those weights forward, palm with your body. Sit. Okay, 10 reps. Guess what, we're done with two rounds. We got three to go. So you got the hang of that now, I'm sure. Take my obligatory knee here, talk to you, recover for a few minutes. So you can see we're not doing a lot of, you know, quote unquote, you know, standard cardio type moves. We're not on a treadmill for 40 minutes, right? We're not on a bike. We're not on a rowing machine, we're not on any of those machines that you might see in your standard gym. And those machines are all great, don't get me wrong. They're perfectly fine to use in their own way, in the right way. But here, we're working out at home. I do have a rowing machine at my house that I love to use, okay? 
and uh, I'll probably show you a workout on that pretty soon too. So if you have one, you can use that or you can go to your cardio machine of choice. Maybe you got a treadmill at home, right? Maybe you got an elliptical machine, whatever it is. If you're, if you're timing yourself or you're burning calories or you're trying to reach a specific distance, you're gonna get the same work. But here, we're doing heavy weighted moves followed up by mostly body weight moves and you're getting that burn. I mean, I'm up like 160 right now on the heart rate, okay? So that means just doing the same kind of work but also adding strength and stability into my fitness. That's why I love doing this stuff. And it's gonna be a long workout today. I'm talking a lot. We're already at 22 minutes. Let's re-rack up here. Let's go on to that third round. Here we go. I'm not fooling around. Here we go. Rack it up and walk it out. Drop the knee. Maybe I can get one more step here. No, I don't want to cheat it. Okay. That's four. That's five. That's six. Okay. Seven. Come on, push it. Eight. Nine. Last one. These are good for me because ten. My son gets heavier every day. And he keeps wanting to be carried around. The parents out there might feel that feeling. So I'll help that particular thing in life, right? Let's go to those squat jumps. On the bench or not. Right leg forward, left leg back. Here we go. Touch. One. Clap. Three. Four. Five. Switch legs. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Push my bench back a little bit. Pull that up so it's safe on the mat. Right into that squat. Press back to the 30. For me, pick your weight at home. Should try to stay the same throughout the workout. If you can't and you need to drop the weight, I'm up at 165 already. Then that's okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Facing you. Let's go. Squat. Press it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Seven, eight. Whole body here. Feeling it everywhere. Okay, nice. Now we got those pike in and out. Let's go. This mat is a mess already. Not even halfway through the workout, really. Okay. Here we go. Up, press. Back, up, press. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, if you're a little behind, if you want to catch up, use the time that I'm talking in between moves. Finish up your round. We'll go on to the next thing. If you're ahead of me, good for you. Keep waiting. Get a little more rest. Lucky you. Okay. <clears throat> Weighted. Sumo. Squat jump, so our toes get her pointed out. We're here. Grab that weight. Ready? Time rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Come on. Halfway. That's it. Legs are on fire now. Okay. Wow. Switch jumps, weighted. I'm stepping it up. I think I was at 20s last time. Let's try 25 here. Why not? A little bit more weight. 
10 pounds more total to be exact. Feels heavier. Let's see how it goes. One leg forward, one leg back. I want to make sure I'm free of my fence back there. Here we go. That's it. Land softly each time. So when you land, a little bit of a bend in the knee to cushion the blow of that jump. Try to stay low the whole time again. All right, slow motion push up, renegade row. We're really starting to feel it now. Okay. Go. All right. Let's get this on here. Let's get going here. I got my weight, 40 pounds again. Hands locked in place. Wide feet. Sorry. We gotta do our 10 push ups first. I'm ahead of myself. Here we go. Ready? Full push ups. So anxious to get to that move, right? So much fun. <laughs> Slow. Sit. Focus on that core every time. More. Sit. If you're on your knees, fine. You can do five push ups or three, and you gotta do the rest on your knees. That's good too. Just go to the best of your ability. Give it all your all every single move. Now we can get into those rows. Here we go. One, 180, run around. Sit. I'm banging into things here. I need more room. Two, flip over this way. Here we go. Three. Four. Really tighten up those quads. That's gonna help. And those glutes, when you pull it up, okay? That's gonna engage your core, give you more stability, make the pull easier. Come on, two more. Last one here. Okay. Way to go, we're back on track. Back into that fifth move of this third round. We got American kettle swing. First, then we got our weighted long jumps. Let me set up the weight for the weighted long jump here, 10 pounds. And we got our kettlebells drying off my hands if I even can at this point, everything's soaking wet here. All right. Whew. I haven't turned the heat down in the house. It's still hot. Okay. What can I do? Let's keep motoring through. Here we go. Ten reps. Come on. Ready? Up. Hip hinge. Okay. That's the important part. Brushed up. Tighten the core on top. Stability. That's it. Good work. Now we got our weighted jumps. Half an hour into the workout here, including the warm up. So 27 minutes of work so far. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. One. Jump as far as you can. Two. All right. Three. Weighted long jumps. It's gonna help you when you try to do regular long jumps too, trust me. Ah. Feel those legs burning yet? Ah. Come on, eight more. Oh, that's 10. And that's the end of our round three. I'll re-rack my adjustable dumbbells the right way this time. All right. Third round over, let's take our knee. Or however you like to relax after that hard work. I'm taking a knee. 
So we got two more rounds like that. Can you hang in? I know you can. If you can only do three rounds, that's fine. If you can only do four rounds, I still love you. If you can only do one round, great. Come back next time and do two. Today we're going for five, or at least I am. For those of you who want to get the most work out of this, stick with me. I'm going to rack back up here. Taking about a one minute break, another 10 seconds left here. And rack up. So far, we're roughly 32 minutes in. So, it's gonna be around a 40 minute workout, or maybe a little longer than that. Maybe 45, depending on how fast we go here. Okay, here we go. Up. And step. One. Want those legs to get stronger for any sport you do in life? Here's your move. Okay? 10 reps. Drop it down. Woo! That is not fun right now, but I love it. Okay. 10 of those Bulgarians. Jump. And again, when we're going down, remember, try to get that chest to the top of the thigh. Just gonna focus on the glute and on the hamstring, or as we just, on that walk, focus on front part of the leg quads a little bit more. So we're gonna hit it all for you, ready? One, that's the leg. Two, three, four, five. All right. Whew. Come on. Four, one more, come on. Five, nice, Ooh. hands and knees. This one's turning out to be the hardest one for me right now, this squat, shoulder press, or Arnold press. I'm gonna stick with the 30s, but I'm starting to feel it. A little bit in my right shoulder. I don't know what I did to my right shoulder. I tweaked it a little bit doing something, but when I was a kid playing hockey, I separated the shoulder five times. So, since I've been about 17, it always kind of gives me a little bit of a surprise now and then. I never had it operated on or anything, just PT and uh, let it heal naturally. So anyway, we're gonna keep going with it, all right? Here we go. Squat, Arnold press. I'm facing you, let's go. Halfway. Come on. Press. Use the momentum. That's it. One more. Okay. Hike. Press. And the in and out hop. This combined the two brutal moves in one here. Let's get going here. Ready? Walk it up in the pike. Press it out, here we go. One. Two. Three, come on. Try to bring your head as low to the mat as you can. Okay? Increase that range of motion. Last one. Excellent. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get it right this time. Slow motion push up first. And then we'll grab our 40 pounder for the row. So I'll put this over here, and I'm not gonna use it yet. Remember to do our push ups first. That was my fault last time. Here we go. Slow motion. If you wanna vary it up a little bit, feeling tired, you can go wide on this one. If you're feeling tough, I like this too easy. Bring them in narrow, okay? I'm gonna stick with standard. Here we go. 
Nice and slow. One. Two. Three. Push away. Lock up those glutes. Lock up those quads. Flatten that back. Nice. Really work on every single repetition. Nice and slow. It's not a speed contest. All right, 10 reps, there we go. Now we can do our row, 180 circle run in plank. Here we go, come on. Hand on the ground, wide fingers, plant it, wide feet, row. Circle run. Okay, again, try to end up in that position you need to be in. Two. Okay, three, if you gotta make a little adjustment, before you lift, that's fine. Stay safe and do that. Okay, I'm doing that right here. There's five. Three more to go, come on. Long time to be in plank, I know. Especially after those push-ups we just did. Last one for me. If you're already done at home, good for you. Take your rest and I'll catch up to you. If you're still working, keep going. Give me a few seconds here to catch up. All right. Last move in this round. You're doing those swings and the weighted jumps. So, this one looks like it's probably gonna go over 45 minutes because we're already at 38. Kind of been talking a lot today, but I'm not in any rush. I mean, normally my workouts aren't this long necessarily, but no shame in doing a longer one, okay? Depends on the day, really. Here we go. Let's get that American kettle swing going. Here, here we go. And all the way up. Again, if you're on the, the dumbbell, your hands are just positioned differently, but you're doing the same move. Two more. All the way up. Nice tight core. That's it. Last move in round four. And then we got the round is separated. The bros from the pros, if that's what you want to say, or whatever. Anyway, let's get going. 10 jumps, come on. One. There's three. Swing it forward, follow with your body. Four. Slipping on my own sweat. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Safety. So wipe up if you have that problem at home too. I'm building a pool over there. I don't wanna go for a swim in my own sweat right now, necessarily. Okay, 40 minutes in. We got one round to go. So it's gonna be a long one today. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you're liking it so far. As you can see how hard we're working. And we are taking breaks. This is, again, a lot different than your standard steady rate cardio. Going up. We're coming down, but we're using heavier weight and body weight to achieve that. So the heavy weight in the first move is the one that's gonna get the blood pumping in your body. And then when you switch over to that body weight move, you're gonna increase that heart rate, start to burn fat, burn calories, make the workout super effective. All right, and that's why we're here. I don't have a towel to wipe this up. 
So I'm just gonna be cognizant of it when I do some jumps. Anyway, we're gonna rack up for our last move here. Front walking lunges. Come on. This is it. Round five. Now's the time you give it all of your energy. All right? Everything you have left. Leave it on the floor right now. Let's go. Knee all the way to the ground. If you can. If you can't, just go as low as you can. All right? Stay safe. There's seven. Eight. Nine. Turn around for the last one. Ten. Stop. Wow. Really feeling that at this point of the workout. All right. And we got our foot up on the bench. I'm going right foot forward. Same as always. Left foot on the bench. Let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five. Come on now. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Squat, shoulder press. Try to stay with those 30s for this last round. I was really feeling it on that last one, so I was considering dropping a 25s, but. I'm going to push it hard today. This is my workout for the day, okay? I don't want to cheat myself. You don't want to cheat yourself. So, give it all that you can. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give yourself enough room. Rack it up. Again, palms facing you. Let's go. Press. Explode. Explode. Five. Push. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I'm going to be hungry after this one. I need some good food today. I smell lunch cooking downstairs right now. So I'm gonna indulge in some nice grilled chicken, spinach, and maybe some grains if he wants or something when I'm done with this for sure. So eat smart and you'll see those results, okay? Here we go. Up in pike, push up, jump in, jump out. Let's go. Sorry, pike press, jump in, jump out. Here we go. Press, in and out. Press, two. There's three. Come on. Get as far in as you can. One more. So, onto our weighted sumo jump squat. I got my 44s. Or again, for you European non-pound users, 20 kilos, all right? Here we go. Come on. 10 reps. One. Push high. Jump high. All the way. Come on. Give it all you got. I know you're feeling it now. Hey. Switch jumps. I'm gonna go with the 25s again. Finish it out strong. Staying low on those jumps, all right? I'm bending over, taking a breath. 25s. Again, staying low. Not coming up. Try and stay down here as much as you can. Make sure there's nothing behind you. You're gonna hit. Here we go. Eight, nine, ten. Awesome work. All right. Two more rounds left. 
two more sets left, I should say. Full push up, that renegade row. This one is killing me, that renegade row. Seems like it's taking forever in that, with that 180 run, but it's working for a reason, because it's difficult, okay? So let's get down, we'll hit those 10 push-ups. Come on now. Move it a little faster in this third round. Come on, let's keep push-ups slow. Four. That's it. You got it now. You know. All right. That's your 50th push up of the day. Row 180 run. Stay safe. Plant that hand. All right. And move it back a little bit. Here we go. Roll it up hard. Give it all you got. That's it. You drop the weight a little bit, make some noise, I don't care. All right, just stay safe. There's six. Two more. Come on. Oh, that's hurt me now. Last one. Oh, forgot my run. Okay. 180 run. There we go. Don't want to cheat myself, okay? Like I said, this is my workout for today. So I'm giving it everything I can. 48 minutes here. We're on to our last set. Got that American kettle swing with the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whatever you got. And then that weighted long jump. Let me set that up right now. 10 pounds in a long jump. Got to be aware of my slippery floor here. And then Got my kettle, okay? Again, if you have your dumbbell, no problem. Start it out. In front of you, you get that swing back, and you're gonna shoot up by pressing the hips forward, creating that momentum. Arms are just holding it and guiding it, okay? Here we go. That's it. Try to keep a flat back. When you go back. Two more. Last one. Okay. We've, we've reached our final move of this workout at 49 minutes, 47 seconds. Now, a little bit of a dilemma here for me is because I've got a really wet area there, so I'm gonna to try to jump from a different spot. I'm gonna to jump towards you there, and you can pick me up on a different angle on this one because I don't wanna wipe out. Okay, stay safe. Here we go. So I'm just adapting to my space. That's all we're doing here. All right? There's six. Seven. Three more. I'm getting tired now. Last one. Here we go. You did it. You made it. Five rounds of brutality. Congratulations. That was an incredible workout for me. I hope it was for you too. I'm gonna take a knee. Get my heart rate back down. Currently 168. So I'm gonna get back and out of my zone a little bit before we stretch out. Just take some deep breaths. Gather yourself. And let's go back into it. Okay. Wide legs. We'll do a quick pull down here. 
Okay, I know you've been working out a long time. Put the arms up, breathe in and out. Just get nice. Get that heart rate back down again. Let's get in control. Three, two, one. And right arm, right leg, or left is left, whatever you want. Let's bend over, work low, lower back, oblique. Groin area, stretch on this one, same thing other side. Nice, really exhale on that stretch. Try to get the most out of it. Nice, left hand down on the floor. This is really gonna hit that lower back as we did the last set a lot today with those jumps. So let's stretch that out here. Other side, up. Try to get that palm flat. If you can only go to your fingertips. That's fine. All right. Let's go down. Upward dog. All right. Stretch out that core because we hit that a lot today with almost every single move. That core was engaged. All right. Drop down with your knees and side to side on the cobra. Nice, push it back, child's pose, and reach over to your left side. Okay, push up that lat area, we went after it with those rows, and right side, same thing. So we really hit the full body today. You know, we went after every single muscle group, and we worked the body as a whole, instead of individual parts, and individual parts to work are fine. Let's get in that sumo, pressed out, but sometimes, you want to do things differently. I have a tendency to work one or two body parts a day sometimes and mix some cardio into it. And then I have conditioning days like this where we do the whole body and focus on stamina and strength and balance and core stability in a different way. Come on up. All right. So that's our cool down. Finish this whole thing, including the warm up and cool down about 50 to 53 minutes. So it's maybe about a 45, 48 minute workout total. And uh, again, you can see what you can get done in your house with a little bit of equipment. And if you like what you see here, again, I always say this, and I know maybe you get tired of hearing it, but ripdism.com, okay? That's the place to go if you want to support us, you want to see more videos here, support us there. And you'll get an amazing set of workout programs. We're gonna have new material coming out there as well, okay? And we have an app that you can use. You can take it anywhere in the world. Download the videos. You don't even need internet to use the app. Once you download that stuff, and you can work out anywhere you are, okay? It doesn't have to be in a gym. Um, today's workout, you can do it at home, you can do it at a gym, you can do it anywhere you want. And we have people all over the world using it. So join with them, get on there, and get in the best shape of your life. Also, once again, subscribe to our channel. It's here for you. Hit that button, you'll know every time we have a new workout out. And again, thanks so much for working out with us. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm drenched. I know you are too. From uh, myself and from Stu, my workout partner, thanks, and we'll see you very soon.